Hello, beloved friends. I'm Pastor Brenda Peterson, and with me today is Baxter. We're here to tell you an important message. Right now in our country, there is chaos in the streets. People are calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. We are living in such a time where we need a revival. We need to be restored back to God. And you know what? We have an opportunity to do that right now. Coming up on September the 18th is the Feast of Trumpets. It's a 10-day period in ancient time where they gathered to pray and repent. And then it ends on Atonement Day or Festival of Atonement on September the 28th. It's a 10-day period of prayer where we're going to gather and pray for our own repentance and the repentance of our nation. We are also going to gather with people across the United States and even across the globe on September the 26th, which is a Saturday. We're going to gather right here in Oakmont in person, and we're going to pray for this country. We're going to pray for ourselves and the restoration and the revival of this country so that we can be restored back to God and He will heal our land. 2 Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will um, forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Oh, Christ the Lord, that's what we need. We need to turn things back around. We have strayed so far from God in this country and if we keep going the way we're going, we're not going to have a country left. We are leading up to 40 days before the election. And what we need is God. We need God's guidance. We need this country to turn back to Him. And the only way that's going to happen is if we humble ourselves before our Lord God. He will lead us. He will speak to our hearts and what is yet to come will be in His will. So join me, starting September the 18th, in prayer for the 10-day period, but also in person on the 26th, right in your own community, as we gather together with other believers from around the community. God bless you, and have a beautiful week. Bye-bye now.